how to choose a market to invest in. This is the number one question I get from real estate investors, both newbie and experienced. That's why I built a free app to gather data from the top major markets across the U.S. It includes a real-time view into market listings, cash flow metrics, and even the ability to compare markets head to head. My name is Ariel Herrera, your fellow data scientist with the Tech and Real Estate channel, where we bridge the gap between real estate and technology. If you enjoy these data analytics tools, then please like this video so I know to make more content like it. All right, let's get started. In this video, I'm going to walk through a series of steps of how you start from exploring a market, a city, and then ultimately a deal. So first, going into it, if you've seen prior videos, I have a free tool called Market Explorer app that takes free resources across the internet and is able to help you calculate your own metric to decipher what markets you may want to invest in. So to make sure that we just kind of breeze through this pretty quickly, in this example, I have some of my metrics selected. I'm looking at appreciation, profitability, and affordability. I have these each weighted differently based on my expectations. So for here, I'm really leaning towards affordability, which is why it's ranked here as a weight of 0 0.70. I'm looking at the Northeast as that's an area that I grew up in and I'm familiar with. I could see here the top metro areas based on the criteria I defined. Number one is Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And we could see that it's listed at median listing price is about 240K. We could look at estimated rent, median household income, and more for the entire metro area. Now, I'm going to actually look at a metro area I'm very familiar with, which is the New York, Newark, Jersey City area. So I'm going to dive into Newark specifically. Now, if you're not familiar with the Northeast, Newark is basically a major city outside of New York, outside of Manhattan. It has its own major airport takes you into Manhattan by train, usually about 20 minutes. And a lot of commuters every single day go through this terminal. So what if now we know the metro area, we know the city we want to potentially look into investing in? How do we actually analyze the city? What's the cash flow look like? This is the purpose of the Housing Market Statistics app, which you can check out below. We are aggregating data across 50 top U.S. markets to be able to analyze them in as close to real time as possible. So how do we look at this? Here we could select a city. I'm selecting Newark, New Jersey. And briefly, we're able to get some key level metrics about this city. We could see there's about 355 listings for this city at an average price of 570K. Median days on market, 35, which makes me think it's still more towards a seller's market. And the average price per square foot, about 227. Now we have these charts here to help us understand based on this price. So we know the median listing price, but what does this look like across different property types? So here we see a lot of yellow, which means Newark has a lot of multifamily properties. And if we look at, say, Zillow, for example, we could see here that there are many multifamily listing properties, duplexes, triplexes, most of these properties being built in the early 1900s. Now we can also change this to group by bedroom, for example. And we could see that most of these properties are more than four bedrooms. And we could see how that breakout looks like with price. We can also view below where these properties sit. So if we actually zoom in a little bit, this is using Plotly Express in Python, we could see that the more pricey properties are closer towards the right-hand side of the city of Newark, which makes sense, right? Because we see over here, Manhattan is towards the right-hand side. So as you get closer to the city, it becomes more desirable because it's a large city and a lot of commuters can get in faster. We can also look at data by zip code. So what does the median price look like based off of each zip code, as well as estimated rent and more attributes? You could also download this here. But we really want to know, is this an area we can invest in? We have an idea now about the listing prices. We can maybe make assumptions if we can even afford it. So what does the actual return on investment look like? Well, we could see here on the second tab called cash flow, we are aggregating this information across all listings. So across all listings, the estimated rent median is about 4000 
which remember, a lot of these properties are multifamily properties, meaning there's multiple units you could rent out, thus higher rent as well. Median cash on cash is negative 8%, which is actually not bad for New Jersey. We can also see here that there are 32 properties that meet the 1% rule. That means that we can rent the property for about 1% of the purchase price. However, there's a high likelihood these are fixed or upper properties, but we can go to, into that in more detail in just a moment. But here we also have charts breaking down cash on cash return. So we could see that there are some properties with positive cash on cash return, maybe fixer uppers, we'll see. And there's a good amount that actually fall below 0%. So these could be properties that put you into the negative. But if you're looking for the long-term game of appreciation, holding the property, seeing rents increase over time, they could still be viable deals. And again, you could also download this data below. So we could now get more of a landscape of how is the market moving? We could look at price changes. So over the, over the last seven days, there's been four price drops, not that much. And the average price drop is about negative 6%. We could look at those zip codes that have had the highest volume of price drops. So this would tell us that the zip code 07104 has had price drops in different bandwidths with about 21% of these price drops being within the last seven days. So this is telling me that sellers may be mo more motivated in this space and maybe I want to look at properties within the zip code for a deal. We also have opportunities flagged. We could see that there are about 200 properties listed as fixer uppers, at a bedroom, ADU eligible, and for sale by owner. Now, one of my favorite parts here is being able to do a direct market compare. So you can select your given market. So I have Newark here, and we could drop down on other markets. So because Philly is a similar type of city and within the same Northeast metro area, I selected it here to have a direct comparison. Maybe I am commuting into New York City, and I'm willing to do a little bit longer of a commute if Philly means I could get a better return on my investment if I'm doing a house hack. So here I could see there's about three times the number of listings in Philly. It is a larger city and the average listing price is almost, yeah, about 200K less. So it's a lot more affordable. However, we see here the rents of course are less as well. And the median cash on cash return is a bit better in Philly than it is for Newark. We could also see how it compares in terms of price drops as well as opportunities too. So now what if we feel like, all right, I have a good idea of Newark, New Jersey, how the market is moving, what cash flow looks like, what the landscape of properties are, mostly multifamily, potentially high and fix and flip. Now I want to invest and actually start to analyze deals. How do I do so? Well, here we see on Zillow, the different multifamily properties. So if we select this one, for example, we could see this property in Newark is about 580K and it has seven beds, three baths. We can view some photos here and see that it's not in too bad of condition, but will likely need at least repainting. It does have, does not have central air. So we may want to fix this as well as the flooring. So if we go back to the listing, one of the issues here, which I see a lot of newbies face, is now they usually take this data and they copy each of these parts, the address, the price, the beds, the baths, et cetera, all into a spreadsheet and run the numbers. Now this takes time. And if you wanna do this across maybe five properties, okay, not too bad. Maybe it takes about 25 minutes or so. But if you're doing this across multiple properties, across multiple cities, as you're exploring where to invest, it could become very cumbersome which is why for coffee closers, we bring in this data. So here we have the same exact property and I'm gonna show you how you could analyze it. We see here it's a multifamily property, three units and the square footage. Now you might be thinking, how did you get that? We didn't see square footage here as well. How do you know it's a three unit? Well, if we look here, it says multifamily three unit property. So to answer your two questions, one, we get data across multiple different data sources. So imagine 
we're pinging the same exact property across five to seven data sources, comparing the property attributes. And if there's anything missing, we are also using AI and ML to fill that in. And as you could see, we are able to also detect using our AI algorithm by description, as well as some other attributes, what the number of units are. So now that we know that there's three units, we also decipher what the layout is. So we have here layout A, 3, 1, and layout B, 2, 1. Now, of course, you want to check with the agent to make sure that these numbers are close to exact, and if not, modify them ever so slightly so that you could run the numbers as best as possible. But here we could see if we were going for a turnkey strategy, meaning we are not going to fix it up or maybe ever so slightly, but the idea is that we could rent right away, we could see how the rent is broken down by layout A and layout B, as well as the two separate units. We could look at our rent estimates and we could see that we're pulling in data from RentCast. RentCast has information on rental listings and sales listings. We are also looking at the median zip code rent. And based upon these, we have our algorithm decide what is the correct rent, which could be a combination of both, or it could be one select if there's a big disparity. We can also look at the rental comps for each breakdown. Now, when I was first investing, this would have been way too expensive of a property for me to buy. 580K is a lot of money, but some things you could look into is doing house hacking. So when we switch to house hacking mode, we are pulling rents from a different source. We're using US government HUD source here instead. And you could see based on what unit you end up selecting that you're going to live in, how your numbers adjust. So if I go back to say, I'm going to live in unit 1B of this multifamily property, I could see that 85% of my expenses would likely be covered by the rent from this property, which is really awesome because if you go back to turnkey, you could see we're looking just at cash on cash return and house hack, we're able to automatically recalculate numbers that would really make sense for the strategy because of course, cash on cash makes sense to always analyze. But if you're also house hacking, you need to know more. How much are your expenses covered? and an estimate of how much you'll be paying each month, which would be about $700 out of pocket, which is a steal in the Northeast area. You can also look at property estimates when you're trying to decide on what you may want to offer on the property. So we also pull in estimates from other sources too. And you can look at how your metrics below for your return on investment would differ based on the asking price you would put. You could also estimate repairs and see how your values would change too, as well as monthly costs. So with that, I'm super excited to have shown you a new tool that you could use for free to be able to analyze different cities within as close to real time as possible. So if you like this types of analytics, as well as me walking through a city and a property in a case study like I did today, then please let me know in the comments below with the city you'd like me to do next and I'll look into it. Thanks.